There is one company that relatively recently became publicly traded in the market. The company itself doesn't spend money on promotion. The company has zero net profit and zero revenue, but for some reason it gained large attention from retail investors. Now it's the top trend in small cap stock on Fintwit, and at the same time the stock has become one of the most shorted in the market. So what is this stock? The company is called Molen Automotive, and actually this electric vehicle company has been around in one form or another for two decades. Molen Motor Cars was founded in 2002, and it built an electric supercar named Molen GT back in 2008. Seven. In 2012, the company was purchased by David Mitchery, who then merged it with Koda Automotive, which formally produced the four-door commuter EV in 2012 and 2013. In November 2021, the company became publicly traded under the name Molen Automotive, following a reverse merger with an electronic payments technology company named NetElement. Overall, the company has shown slow progress over the years. However, this may change in 2024 as the company plans to launch its SUV named Vive. The specs of the car seems pretty good. It accelerates to 100 km per hour or 60 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds. The maximum driving distance that can be traveled is 523 km or 325 miles and the maximum speed is 250 km per hour or 155 miles per hour. The car will use a 95 kilowatts per hour battery pack and it will be capable of fast charging from empty to 80% in 21 minutes. Such thing will cost $55,000 before incentives. And compared to other electric cars, the performance looks good and competitive. In general, the company promises a lot, not only innovative electric vehicles, but also a breakthrough in battery technology. It's developing solid-state battery technology and said in February that it was progressing toward the pack that could deliver over 600 miles or 1000 kilometers in range. The CEO told that the new technology created minimal battery degradation, just 2% over 10,000 cycles against 80% for the lithium-ion batteries used by Tesla and other EV manufacturers. Mullen plans to put the solid-state packs in the second generation 5 that can arrive in lane 2025 or 2026. The overall promises are very big and, as many people can guess, if everything was so cool, the company would not cost so cheap. I can also say that I will produce electric cars, so invest in my company, I have zero net profit and zero revenue. You would hardly believe in such promises. Therefore, we should rely on what the company is really showing right now. While I was making this video, the news came out that the company announced impressive test results for solid-state polymer battery. As I mentioned previously, the battery can deliver over 600 miles or 1000 kilometers of range when scaled to the vehicle pack level and at a 150 kilowatt per hour equivalent, as the company says. Indiana's Battery Innovation Center testing shows results of 343.28 ampere hour at 4.2 volts for Molen solid state polymer battery cell, which is in line with previously quoted test results from EV Grid. The company shares soared again by 45% on this news. Well, this battery will be in the upgraded version of the car that is not yet produced. The second generation 5 that might arrive in 2025 or 2026. While NEO is already selling a sedan with a maximum driving range of 1000 km or 600 miles. In any case, the main problem of the company is not timing, but the fact that several billion dollars are needed to expand the production of electric vehicles and subsequent sale, while the company simply does not have it. According to the latest reports, the company has only 62 million dollars in cash. And this is nowhere close to enough for the company to achieve what it wants. And so far it is not clear where the company is going to take money from to implement its plans. The capitalization of the company is slightly less than 500 million dollars. Announcing new public offerings and selling new shares will not help much unless the market capitalization will spike 10 times for some magic reason. So far it's very hard for me to imagine how the company is going to raise capital, and I do not share such optimism among retail investors. And even if the company manages to raise enough capital and bring its car to the market, the current investors are not likely to have big profits due to the fact that the company will have big losses for a very long time, and these losses will be offset by a new share dilution. 
Some analysts set a target price of $23. That's some kind of a crazy prediction. Well, this is pretty often that analysts set target price for some companies with no revenue 5 or 10 times higher than current price. On the other hand, it does make some sense. If analysts were making negative forecasts and all investors believed that the company will not be successful, that the company will fail, then it will simply become a self-fulfilling forecast, because then people will not invest invest in the company and accordingly it will not have money for development and implementation of their plans and it will then go bankrupt. And vice versa, if all investors are convinced that the company will succeed, then the company will raise enough capital and realize its plans. Therefore, the expectations of people are very important here. The success of companies largely depends on them. But that's a topic for a separate video. That's all for today, thank you for listening.